Hey, what's going on? What's up? So, got a Tucson. Let's see what's in there. We're going to get it out of the box. We're going to take it apart. Get it cleaned up. Checked in. Make sure it cuts. All the good stuff. This is... So, this shows how late to the party you can be. I mean, man, you could buy hundreds of these knives and then not have certain ones that, of course... Everybody has. I don't know. I don't know if everybody has it, but I don't have one. And so I, it's another good example. This one is a good example, too, that if you're just patient, um, you know, I don't watch eBay for these all the time, but, you know, I'll get a I'll get a, a bone or something, and I'll get to looking. I'll go, hey, I wonder what's going on with uh, D-Win and Tucson, and then I'll get looking for them. And lo and behold, there will be some knives from a year ago or more that um, that I wanted to buy or, you know, I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. Or the community thought it was a good knife. And I just didn't find it at a price point that I thought was right. And so I never pulled the trigger on it. Well, then I come back, I don't know, recently I've been looking. So I have boxes and boxes of two sons to check in. And uh, these are all over the last couple of months. I just, you know, I'm, I'm running around on eBay and I throw in bids at, at, at everything. <laughs> and uh, I win some and I lose some. Uh, I lose more than I win. But uh, so, yeah, I never got one of these in the past. So I thought, man, here's an opportunity to get one. I'm going to go ahead and get it. And uh, so let's fire that thing and see what's up. Nice little detent on it. Kind of snapped out of my finger. It's not really drop shut. Yeah, it's, it's got a good detent. Um, I think this one is definitely going to fall into the category of when I clean it up, I'll improve it. Because uh, it seems a little tight. Uh, it could all be in the detent, but one of the things that I noticed right away is that this doesn't have too much pressure on it. So sometimes you can get a knife where the, uh, the lock bar, the arm, is too tight. And that's not the case on this knife. So the detent could be really deep that's causing that, but I think I can improve it. So let's get it cleaned up, get it apart, and we'll continue to take a look at it. Um, I'm just going to do an initial wipe of this oil so that I don't carry it to all my tools and everything. And uh, yeah, this is one, man, this thing's been around a long time. And I think it's been stated many, many times that this is a really desirable knife. That titanium feels really nice. It's got some amazing millwork here and across the top. Feels wonderful. It's done really nice. Um, same on the back and the pocket clip. Pocket clip has the same milling. It's not lighter. It's the same. And it's a good kind of pocket clip. That thing's going to, it's pretty springy. It's going to go in the pocket and come out of the pocket. So let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to discipline myself to not just think it, but to just put it. Yeah, so goes in really easy, locks in, and then comes out easy. Definitely a one-hand operation. Doesn't take two hands to go in or out. So I, I'm going to say good pocket clip. I like it. Yeah. Um, let's get it apart. So there's a lot of these. Ooh, that's kind of sticky. I'm going to say Loctite. And there it is. That's been Loctite in there. So, you know, one of the things with it being Loctite like that, a lot of times um, I can put them back in and I don't have to re-Loctite it. There's enough Loctite in there that you can feel that there's tension on the screws. And uh, it's not going to have any issues of backing out or not locking in the position that it needs to be in. So that pocket clip is secured from the inside. 
yeah. Let's uh, get the pressure off the detent. How about that? That might help this to pop apart. And the pivot screw come out. It's got internal stop pins. It's kind of nice. Built into the blade. Got both my bearings falling out. Nice little washer. Another one. You know, this is a... Uh, this is another knife that I've gotten recently that, I mean, by and large, looking at this thing, it's clean. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe somebody got tired of watching videos of knife guys cleaning knives when they take them apart. Because here's another knife that, ex with the exception of it being oily, and oily in some of the wrong places like there's no reason for oil to be here all that oil is going to do here is leak out when you're holding on to the knife you know you're going to have this this leaching oil coming out from weird places and nobody wants that so but I, man i mean overall knife looks really clean i'm not seeing dirt and debris um, yeah, that's a good thing. I mean, I almost feel unappreciated, sort of, in a way, because it was always necessary for me to bring a towel to bear. And honestly, last few Tucson knives, I I really kind of, it don't need to be cleaned. It just needs to have some of this oil removed. It's a little over-oiled, but... You know, it's not something to complain about, I don't think. I'd rather have it oily than not oiled, I guess. Man, maybe just oiled right would be good. How about that? Maybe I should add that. Um, yeah, there's no reason for there to be oil on this backspacer. That doesn't need it. Catch this pivot pin. So, I, I mean... With with how clean everything is, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that I'm going to make a market improvement here. And that detent is tough. Now, would I would I jump right in and try to tune that detent? Probably not. I'll probably just put the knife somewhere where it's going to get some use, not in my pocket, but you know, on my desk or something. I might put it there so when I'm sitting there, I can run the knife through its paces and uh, try to get it right. Uh, let's get it back together. Got that captured pivot pin. Start there. That backspacer in. Mm, that didn't seem right. Yeah, there we go better uh, let's see oil a little oil get some on the titanium there encourage this to rotate smoothly get a bearing a little more oily stuff Let's put it on the bearing. How about that? There we go. Almost home. Uh, dang it. Alright, let's see if I can pop that out and hold my position, catch my missing part, and resume. Sometimes, sometimes not. Yeah, got it. How about it? Master magician right there. Practice man. Yeah, so that clip's held in from inside there. Let's check that screw while we're in here. Make sure, yeah, that ain't getting loose. That detent ball does not look abnormal at all. Um, this didn't seem too tight. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to remove... 
um, this steel insert um, to change that at all. So we'll just put it back together and we'll run it for a while and see if it improves that detent because it's pretty it's pretty stout. And I'm pretty sure this is going to hold. I'm not going to need to put new Loctite on it. I'm going to be able to... This will cinch up, and it did. My screwdriver, my little switchblade screwdriver got me. Last screw. All right, lock that in, cinch everything up, and then I'll run that out, and then that seemed about normal there. Uh, I mean, I'm going to call it better. When I first was opening it, um, this is, this jimping is pretty darn sharp on this knife. It's grippy, man. And, uh, that's a good thing, but to the point to where it was kind of painful and I'm going to say that it's not now it's dropping better. It's not quite drop shut, but it's dropping pretty good. So let's make sure that I didn't leave slop in it. I mean, there's nothing there. That knife is solid. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down. Got a few things we'll run through and call it a call it a check in. This thing will be good to to uh, get into some storage for now until I have time to pull it out and spend some time with it. Um, right now, I just you know I'm working on I get it checked in and then I put it away, and at some point. I guess usually late in the evenings, I sit down with some of my collection. And I'll go, all right, well, there's that one. It's checked in. I like it. You know, I may swap it out for what's in my pocket and carry it around for a few days um, just to get a real feel for it. But yeah, 100% that action's better now. So in the hand, this thing feels amazing. This mill work, I mean, it's in hand, but it's so smooth. It feels so good. And then there's some more of that sharp jimping on the top. So I'm getting what I like. It it locks my thumb in. And then this jimping here is locking this finger in down here. So I, that is a really strong grip right there. And I wouldn't have any concerns about my fingers or my hands slipping forward uh, if I was in a situation where that, that knife was putting back pressure. It's not coming into my fingers for sure. So, so yeah, good grip. I feel the pocket clip back there, but it's right up in the palm of my hand. You can see here where it's going here. Uh, no issues with that whatsoever. So let's see if it cuts. How about that? Uh, get rid of a few of these little trinkets here. All right, does it cut? Uh, yeah. Super duper sharp. Even that thicker tip that's carrying that the thickness of that blade down for strength even that part sharp so yeah super sharp um let's see let's see if it's cursed we already checked the pocket clip let's check to see if this thing will cut you and yeah so unfortunately from here to here there is a lot of blade contact down in there. So for me, even slipping off of this, if I did that, that's close enough to the top that it's going to cut my finger open. So this blade to me is exposed. So it does, it's a design flaw and I, this one could get you. I'm not saying it's gonna, and I'm going to add what I add to every knife that has this that I like. It's going to go in my pocket. I, I am not going to not put this in my pocket because of that. 
Um, but man, if I grab this wrong or my, put my finger in there, a hundred percent, that's going to cut me. Cause I, as soon as I breach that opening, I feel that blade and I can feel it really strongly to about right there, you know, down below right there, it's kind of out of reach. All right. So it's got to me, for me, it's got one of the two curses. Yeah. I mean, I can touch this here and I, you know, Hey man, the right, the right situation, grabbing it right. It's in, in my pocket and my finger comes down in there. I'm getting that. So I, yeah, bummer, but I'm going to have to say this one's double cursed. Yeah. Like, cause you, you can get blade contact here. And I said it in another video. It's no, to me, it's no different than just carrying a straight blade, uh, without a sheath in, in your pocket. I mean, you know, it's in there. If you're careful, you can maybe maneuver around it and not contact that. But if for whatever reason you were to contact that blade, you're going to get cut. And this one, man, these are painful. I mean, if you get down in there, it, it'll grab me every time. So yeah, this one's got it two ways. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't know that after, I don't know, seeing people digging this knife so much, but is it still going to go in my pocket? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Great size fits in the hand. Well, I can even get that forward position. Yeah. It's a great little pocket knife. And so I don't think I said it, but this is, maybe I did say it. It's a TS-196, and this one's in M390. So TS-196, Mazwan Mokhtar, uh, in M390 steel. And uh, great action. Cool knife. I like it. I just wish they wouldn't, man. I mean, golly, if I could, you know, not have that and not have this, this knife would be wonderful. Unfortunately, it's just a good knife. And well, or you know what it is? It's a great knife, but it's got two big flaws. That's, that's what I'm going to say. So anyways, thanks for watching.